Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this video, I'm going to talk about the alpha key, which is right over here on your TI-84 calculator. Uh, every graphing calculator would have this capability. Um, <clears throat> and what it does is you'll notice that above each of these keys in green, which matches the alpha key, is a letter. At least in most cases, there are uh, some other things uh, if you hit alpha, we have functionality keys up here, F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5, but most everything is a letter. Uh, we do have a fraction key right here. All right, if we hit alpha and then our variable key, we will get a fraction. Uh, and there are some others. If we're going to be using text where we might be using letters, uh, we do have quotes down here. If we hit alpha plus, we'll get quotes. Uh, over zero, we have a space. Uh, over the decimal point, we have a colon. Over the negative sign, we have a question mark. Uh, and so really this is for dealing with textual entry. And what you might use that for is, let's say uh, that we're finding the slope of a line or something. All right, so let's say. Uh, let's make a fraction and let's say we want to do eight minus nine all over uh, negative two minus three. And we want to store the result as the slope of a line. All right, now what we can do here is uh, we can store this result using the store key. And then, you know, for a line, we usually call the slope M. Uh, so if I hit alpha and then M, this will take that value and store it into the variable called m and then I can use whatever that slope is uh, later on. So let's say I hit enter, it turns out to be one fifth. And now what I can do is if I go into my y equals editor, I can define a line to be alpha m x and then I can just throw on some uh, y intercept here at random, click the graph and notice the line has a slope of one fifth, it has the y intercept of three, uh, so we can get to the alpha functions of these keys by clicking the alpha button. Uh, and then there is one other thing uh, that the alpha key can do. If we go to second quit, notice on the arrows over here, there are two green patches, one on the up arrow, one on the down arrow. What that is, is that allows you to access the history in the calculator. So we just did this calculation. If I hit alpha, uh, and then I can go up, and it highlights different things that I did uh, on my screen, and then I can access the history uh, by going through that. Uh, so if I highlight it and click enter, it just gives me that same expression. Uh, and if there's multiple lines here, I can continue to scroll through using my uh, the history functionality uh, with alpha and then these up and down arrows. Uh, that could be really helpful if you did a calculation and you don't want to redo it, but you know that you did it and you need to use it again, but again, you don't want to redo it. Uh, if you know how to access the history, uh, the history, you can just go up and grab it. Uh, so that's some of the stuff that you can do with the alpha key on your TI-84 uh, graphing calculator. 